so worth the two hundred dollars. <laughs> ah. Okay. Now, who did I take that job from? Uh oh. Look for Vivi at the Vestuvius. Okay. What the frig is the Vestuvius? I forget. Um, it's, oh, there it is. It's not far at all. Full bar, no cover after APM. No cover after 8 p.m. Are they talking about money or the strippers? <clears throat> um. Hello. Maybe she's in the VIP room. Isn't this where she took me before? Yep. Look who's back. Ah, Vivi. That's Miss Vanilla to you. Uh huh. About that hunter. Mm -hmm. She is dead. Very, very dead. I know. I heard you from here. So you like loud noises, do you? I asked you to be quiet. All you've done is attract attention to yourself. And now you're in my club. You think there's any chance someone might make the connection? I don't know if you've helped or made things worse. Ugh. <sighs> Hey, no one else got hurt. Bitch. Poor, poor David Hatter. Who? David Hatter's an aspiring screenwriter and hotel manager. He comes in more often than he would admit. Several years now. Poor dear just can't get a break. I overheard him talking about his new screenplay with one of my girls. It was about secret societies, and creatures that found themselves dealing with inner beasts and persecution by elder monsters. Sound reminiscent of something to you? Uh... huh. He's writing about the kindred. Yes. The details of his story were too insightful to be coincidental. I think someone's working with David. A kindred who doesn't realize the consequences of their actions. Do you know what the penalty for revealing ourselves to Kine is? Um, no Christmas bonus? Death. I'm afraid poor David's big break. The screenplay he's worked so hard on must be destroyed, and his less than silent partner must be executed. I know David too well. I'm very fond of David, and I'm too close to do what needs to be done. So, you want me to kill Hatter and his source? No! I don't think Hatter knows his collaborator is Kindred. You'll have to take David's screenplay, and somehow you'll have to coax the name of his source out of him. Once you found out who, kill the traitor. But do not touch David. Alright, I'll straighten things out. David works at the Lucky Star Motel. He's very passionate about his writing. He loves to talk about his craft. I'm sure he'll talk about his screenplay. It may take some persuasion to get him to give up his collaborator's name, however. Alright. Leave it to me. After this is over, I promise you'll have my complete attention. Uh-huh. Bye. Almost made it out. Then she caught me. God damn it. Where's the exit? Gah. Lucky Star Motel. Friggin' chicken! I want some chicken. I'm hungry. Hmm. Oh, but I can't eat David. She told me not to. Oh. Hey there.
Night eating you? Uh... You know there's a dead body in one of your rooms? Already? Yeah, that's early for tonight. Oh well, I'll, I'll, I'll call the cops, but who knows when they'll show up. <laughs> to protect and serve, right? <laughs> Guess I'm out of here then. Night eating you? What are you working on now? Me? I'm like looking to redefine the vampire movie, okay? Like tons of people make vampire flicks, like popular characters, but me, I'm gonna be doing the real deal. Like not only is it gonna be scary, but it's gonna be like it's gonna be believable. Uh what do you know about vampires? Well, in my story, it's not like about garlic and bats, okay? It's about vampire societies and stuff you know like what would vampires be really all about i mean how do they blend into society without being discovered love to see that Do you have a copy a good writer always does in this town hey hey you you in the business because man i got tons of ideas for movies in fact i should give you one of my completed screenplays this one's still a work in progress hey man there's only one copy here right now I like to keep it pure. I don't I don't even work on a computer. It disrupts the flow, you know? Can I hold it for a sec? Uh, no. Uh, I, I don't usually let people read works in progress. It's, it's, it's a writer's superstition. I, I, don't, I don't expect you to understand. Fair enough. Uh, I know a few people interested in making a vampire pick. Let me have it. Sure, sure. But who, who do you work for anyway? I mean, I'm worried about the studio not seeing eye to eye on some of the creative decisions and whatnot. Don't worry about it. Any co-writers? I really can't talk about it. He likes his privacy. How much will it cost to share his name with me? Well, I don't know. I mean... Fifty bucks? Do you know how much sending manuscripts to agents costs? Mmm... No. How much money do I even have? Ugh. Night eating you? I really can't talk about it. He likes his privacy. <sighs> Fine. Hmm. There's nothing in here. <sighs> Can I boost my persuasion at all? Uh, persuasion's already at four. Holy crap. Hmm. How does... Oh. Let's try to boost my melee if I could do more damage. Maybe I'll kill things a little easier. Yeah, that'll work. And what what do I need for persuasion? Charisma? Throw one in there just to see if it'll work. Night eating you? Uh I need a name. I really can't talk about it. He likes his privacy. How much? Well, I don't know. I mean Do you know how much <sighs> sending man God you're a pain in the ass. I have his manuscript. That's something. <sighs> if I return this to her, I'll get experience points. Maybe she'll have an idea of how to get the frickin' conspirator out of him. Of course, that doesn't really narrow it down. Could be anyone. Hey, you. Look who's back. Miss Valor? Yes. Uh, about Hatter. Mm hmm. Here's a screenplay. Oh. 
I suppose I should just tear it up. But I just... I can't. I can't rip up the product of that man's soul. Here. Would you? Tear it up for me. <sighs> Fine. Thanks. Do I have it still? Unknown. I'm in the position of not giving a fuck anymore, so... I guess I'll buy some... blood. And take another crack at those two dipshits. Uh, or maybe the one... Yeah, drive. Back to Santa Monica. Got things to take care of. Oh, there's the asylum. Oh yeah, there's that other place here too that I need to look at. I forgot. Brother Salvage? Yeah. Let me just hit my email real quick. Then I'll do that. And the blood bank, maybe. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, anything in my vote box? Email! Five are unread, holy crap. Uh. Eight. I recently read much famous here and revealed the cafe in the sun. I must tell you that I'm extremely happy with these conclusions. You have done well. Please accept payment and I've left you in your mailbox. I just looked in my mailbox. There was nothing there. If you're still re reading this, I guess you're still among the undead. Got a proposition for you. If you're not too busy, you know where to find me. It won't be too difficult this time. Bertram. Prince is promoting you. Hey boss, did some spray cleaning today. Came across something you might that might tickle you. A kid used to live here had an unhealthy crush on everyone's favorite psycho pinup, Jeanette Vorman. I got a touch of nostalgia, so you find me a copy of Tap Hotel starring me. I'll trade you a poster of that luscious lunatic for it. Put the videotape in your mailbox and I'll deliver it to your haven. Beware the Black Queen. Okay. Uh, uh, delete. So who's the Black Queen, I wonder? Um. All right, that Bertram Tongue. I forgot his first name. Well, check my mail, talk to Bertram. He's right by the Brothers Salvage place anyway, I think. What we got? Hundred bucks. Prince, you cheap bastard. But I guess it was an easy job. Okay. I walk right into the wall. Because why not? Bounce, see, bounce, see, bounce, see, bounce, see. Uh. Oh, wrong way. I. I'm lost. I 
I'm already lost. Alright, beach access, don't need that. Um. Okay, Bertram, what do you got for me? Better be good. Better involve money. I need money. Final columns of the great beast's hall. There's Brother Salvage. Oh, you walk willingly to the eternal beast of my guilty. What do you want, Tongue? I'm glad you're here. I've heard you've been up to quite a bit lately. Very interesting. I was hoping you could help me with something. A little bird said they spotted you down in the Warrens. Gonna be back there soon. Might be. What do you need? I'm looking for a data CD. It was lost down there, supposedly. Find it for me and I'll teach you a thing or two. Some stuff that could really come in handy for you, from the sound of things. Alright. Mm, great, great. Go to the Warrens, then find the data CD. Don't bother asking around for it. I've already made a pest of myself about this. Just find it, and bring it back. See ya. What the hell are the Warrens? Oh, is that where the Nosferatu are? Probably. Oh, boy. Save. New. Okay. Because I don't trust this shit. Sneaky! Most Giovanni come from the ranks of the Venetian family. Yeah. Does that mean you don't want to talk? Mister? Wait, did you go to the bathroom? No? Hmm. Hello? Hello, doggy. What? What's that? You want to play fetch? With bullets? Yeah? Doggy, catch! 